doing the blush tag. I meant to do this a while ago. I filmed it once and it was completely out of focus the entire time, so I'm gonna refilm. And actually, I think I made different choices this time because it's been about a month since I filmed the last one and I kind of rethought some of my answers. So, there are 14 questions about blush and things that are my favorite and least favorite and most expensive and things like that, so I'm gonna share with you guys my thoughts. So, the first question is the best packaging. And I'm gonna have to say this is gonna be one of my most recent blush purchases, and I don't know why I love this so much, but this is the Lorac Buildable Blush, and this one is a matte color. This one specifically is chroma, in case you're wondering. But there's something so nice and sleek. It's just nice, thin packaging. There's not really any wasted space. They didn't spend time... Um, putting any brushes or anything in there because no one uses those brushes, let's be honest. And it's just nice and magnetic and sleek, and I think it's just beautiful. It's like a gunmetal color. I don't know what it is so much about this blush that draws me to it, but I love it and I really want more of these. If you guys have any of these and you have any good color suggestions, let me know that. I think this color is gorgeous and I really like it, but the packaging I think is just beautiful. The next one is Prettiest Color, and for this one I have to say that this goes to the Benefit Rocketeur blush. So this one is just a really pretty kind of rose goldy color. It's very neutral and natural right here if you guys can see it. It's nothing too overdone or over the top. It's just a really, really pretty blush and I like it a lot. So this one I would have to say is the prettiest color just because it's so natural and glowy and it just works really well as a blush for most eye looks. The next question is most pigmented and this one has to go to my City Color Intense Blush Quad. I've had this quad for over a year now and I never tend to reach for it just because it is so crazy pigmented. I got it because it was a sale and I thought, hey, why not? But these just like one swipe and they are crazy, crazy pigmented. They are really pretty smooth, but I just never tend to reach for it because they are so pigmented, especially this one right here. Like I cannot think of an occasion where I would easily wear that color, but it is really good quality for the price that it is. I'm pretty sure this was under $10. I just never reached for it because it is so pigmented that I'm scared that I'm going to go crazy with it and I'm going to look insane. Now it's like not even coming off of my hand. That's, that's saying something. The next question is everyday blush. And for this one, to be honest, the blush that I've been wearing pretty much every day recently has been NARS Orgasm because I've been working on trying to use it up. But I would say if I were picking just any old color, this one here, this is the Mark Good Glowing one, and this one is one of their Mosaic Blushes in Hush Baby. I don't even know if they still have this because I've had it for forever, but it is just a really pretty glowy kind of peachy color here. So I really, really like this one. I think it's really pretty. It's very natural and glowy, and I like it a lot, and it's very inexpensive. So I think that works super well as an everyday blush. The next question is a party blush, and honestly, I don't really go out that often. I'm not much of a party girl, but I would say that if I were picking something, I would probably go for something like Rocketeur because it is a natural looking blush. So it looks nice and glowy. It looks really beautiful on the cheeks, but it wouldn't clash with any makeup looks that you do. So if you tend to go more dramatic and over the top, then this would not clash with your eye makeup look and it would look really nice with most looks. The next one is one that you regret purchasing. And I would have to say for this one, I would say the Milani Bella Rosa. This one I had been looking for for a long time, honestly, but it is so just bright and red and pigmented that I don't reach for it. I don't know what looks to wear with this particular color. It is really beautiful, but I don't know that I've ever actually worn this on my cheeks. And as much as I hunted for it, I think I just wanted it because YouTube talked about it. But I don't know when to wear this or why I would wear this. I tend to go for more natural looks most of the time. So probably not one that I need to keep, but I keep it because I don't have anything else like it in my collection. But then also I don't wear it. The next one is least used, which again, I'm going to have to say goes with this one because I don't think I've ever used this one just because it's so bright and pigmented and I don't know what I would wear it with. So I'm pretty sure this is my least used, although there are a few that I have in my collection that I don't use very often. I would say um, Benefit Dallas Blush would be another one that I haven't worn all that often, but I think most of them I've worn more than that, but this one, this one is not a winner. The next one is Most Used, and honestly, Most Used as of late would be NARS Laguna because I have been trying to use it up, so that's what I have on my cheeks today. So that would probably be my Most Used, but it also says Would Never Let Go Of, and NARS, I don't think I would buy again, honestly, after this one's used up. I think my main thing was I want to use it up. I spent so much money on this duo. I used up the Laguna bronzer from it, but I want to use up Orgasm. Next one that I would say is the Tarte Blush and Expose. So this is another really natural blush um, that just works with a lot of different 
looks. It's just very natural and neutral. And so I would say this would probably be my second runner-up because I really like this look and it goes with a lot of different ones and I like to keep it in my collection. The next question is your favorite blush brand, which I would have to say is the Tarte. I really, really like the Amazonian Clay 12-hour blushes, so the one that I just mentioned that was an exposed. Then I also have the one in Doll Face, which is like a pretty pink color. I have Tipsy, which used to be one of my absolute favorites, and this one's just like a corally orange color, which I haven't worn in quite a while, but this one was a really pretty one that I used to wear. And then I have two smaller limited, no, this one's a limited edition one. This one was in Stellar, and then this one is in Glisten. So I really, really like these blushes. I think they look really nice and natural. They have some really great colors. The only problem with these is that they tend to get hard pan if you swatch them or use like a cream blush and then go in with them. They tend to get hard pan. I've had a lot of people tell me that if you just use a piece of tape and put it on top and then take it off, it'll take off the hard pan. So I'll have to do that with some of these because some of them did develop hard pan, but I really love these blushes and the colors that they have and I love the colors that I've gotten. The next question is greatest discovery of the year and I would say I'm gonna go in the last like calendar year not in, since 2016 so I'm gonna go with the Laura Geller blush and brighten ones because I think these are just gorgeous blushes so this one is a really really pretty one this one's in pink grapefruit I think I got this one in like a kit so this one's right here and it is just gorgeous I love these blushes I would like to pick up some more of these so if you guys have any suggestions on which ones do you think are the best colors that I should really look into picking up let me know that but I love these blushes I think they're really pretty the next question is most practical so I would have to say for most practical I would go again with some of the ones that I mentioned that are very good everyday blushes so like the Tarte exposed one is really good where it's a very nice natural color that gives you a flush without being too dramatic or over the top and not mixing with most eye looks um, the Hush Baby one that I mentioned from Mark is also a really good one. The Benefit Rockateur one is really good. This one's really pretty. So there's a lot of blushes that I think work really well as everyday blushes that are really practical. A lot of my blushes tend to be that way because I like to go for more practical blush looks. So most of my blushes I would say are really practical, but those three that I just mentioned are really good ones. Least practical, I'm going to have to go back to this one, this Milani one, because I don't know when to wear this one. I, I don't know. It just does not work very well for me, and I probably should just declutter it because I've never worn it and I don't know when to wear it. Most expensive for my blushes would have to be my Benefit Boxed Blushes. So I have a few of them. I've decluttered a few. So I have the Rockateur one, I have the Benefit Hervana blush, I have Bella Bamba, and I have Dallas. Those are $29, I think. So I have a lot of, like, the higher-end blushes are really close in range, but they're not quite as expensive. I think that's the most expensive. Those are the most expensive ones that I have. And then for least expensive, I have a couple that are really close. I can't remember. I feel like this one is a little bit cheaper. So this is the Wet n Wild blush in Heather Silk. These are the color icon ones, so these I think are like $2.99 maybe, they might be $3.99. And then I also have a few of the e.l.f. blushes, these are the $3 ones, so this one's like Mellow Mauve. So, I think this one is one cent cheaper, I think. And I think that's the least expensive blush that I have. So, that is it for my blush tag. I would love to see if you guys have filmed this video. Let me know that in the comments below and leave me a link for that video. I will definitely go check it out. Or if you guys don't film videos and you have responses to any of these, let me know that. Or if you have thoughts on any of the blushes that I mentioned, any comments or any suggestions on things like the Laura Geller one or colors that I should try for different brands, let me know that in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.